Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I do want to let you guys know that I am so thankful for you guys and the love and support that you guys showed my last video. I know it was really long and it was even hard for me to watch um, just because it was like super long. 23 minutes is no joke and I do know that your guys' time is precious and valuable so I just want to tell you guys First off, thank you so much for your support in that video. Now, as you guys can see in the description bar, this video is going to be covering my entire foundation routine all the way through to a full face of makeup. Now, I am going to be featuring the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, which is thus far my favorite palette. Um, and these colors are amazing. So, those of you that don't have this yet, definitely try to get your hands on it before it's sold out. Um because it is definitely a must-have. So if you guys have any questions in regards to any of the products that I use in this video, don't forget to leave them at the end of the video in the comment section. And I do want to hear any kind of video suggestions that you guys, um, you know, are looking to see on my channel. So stay tuned. And if you are interested in how to create this look, definitely keep on watching. Bye, guys. I'll see you soon. Mwah. Okay, guys, so let's get started. As you guys can see, my skin is far from perfect. Um, I do suffer from rosacea, so I do have a lot of redness on my cheek area, and I do have it here along the jawline. Now, uh, for me, I have tried several skincare products um, to try to reduce the redness, um, but so far, nothing really has worked. Um, for me, personally, I've just learned to live with it, so I've learned to use just different products. I'm always moisturizing my face. Um, but I am a full coverage foundation kind of girl. I can never use a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. I have to use full coverage everything. Now I was using the Kat Von D Locket uh, Tattoo Foundation, but that tended to break and separate um, on my skin. So for me, I had to go back to Old Faithful, which is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Now the shade that I use is NC15. And for me, one um, application of the foundation basically covers everything um, to my liking. So really quickly, I'm just going to show you guys my face routine and then we're going to get into the eyes and eyebrows and all that other fun stuff. So for me personally, to apply foundation, I love to use my Beauty Blender. I do have a black one as well. Um, I did see Manny MUA's uh, video recently and he mentioned that the black one is always fun to use, especially because it doesn't look as dirty as the pink one. Um, and I agree a thousand percent, but this is my clean one, so this is what we're using. Um, so pretty much, I already moisturized my face. Um, I do have oily skin, so I tend to not use a primer. I know that that's bad, but I do use um, this MAC Studio Moisture Cream. And I just apply a little bit to moisturize my face because after washing my face, my face tends to feel dry. But throughout the day with makeup, um, I tend to get oily in the T-zone. So this is my go-to product as of right now. I've tried um, the Benefit Professional. I've tried other um, primers. And it's just, I feel like it breaks up my makeup. So for me... I moisturized and now I'm gonna apply my foundation so like I said I do wear NC 15 in the Mac studio fix fluid so I'm just gonna dot it around my face and you guys may think that I'm putting on a lot and I'm probably putting on a lot but this is to my liking those of you that have beautiful natural skin I mean more power to you but I don't so this is what I do so I'm just dotting it everywhere. So that's pretty much all the areas that I need covered. So with the bottom of my beauty blender, I just start dabbing. Okay, so my foundation is to my liking and I have the coverage that I want. So next I'm going to go in and cover up 
all this under eye area where I have a little bit of discoloration as well as darkness here in the inner corners. And what I use for that is my MAC Pro Conceal Palette in Light. Now just getting a little bit of that concealer, go ahead and I apply in a V formation. Now after I apply my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and just blend this out with my Beauty Blender. So just working the concealer and buffing it into the skin. Okay, so next I'm going to be setting that under eye concealer with a HD translucent powder. And the powder that I'm going to be using is this LA Girl um, HD Pro Powder. And I'm just going to dust that right under the eyes. Now to set my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and apply um, my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC15. And I'm just going to dust this all over my face. Okay guys, now onto contouring. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Contour Kit. And I'm going to be applying this color here, which is Java. So I'm going to be applying it with just an angle brush. I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush and apply that to the hollows of my cheeks. So starting here at the top of the ear, here, and I just basically find that hollow right here and that's where I'm going to be applying my powder. I'm going to buff that out and blend it out with my original powder brush. Now for blush, I'm going to be applying um, this color here from the LA Girl Blush Collection. And this is the Glow Set. And I'm going to be applying just very lightly the lightest pink in the palette. And again, going in with that original powder brush just to blend and fuse everything together. So next is brows. Now I'm going to be using this Brow Bar To Go from Whitening Lightning. And I am going to be actually applying both shades here. And I'm going to be applying that with my MAC 263 Angle Brush. Okay guys, so blending those two colors on my brush, I just get a little bit of each color. And I go ahead and I just start at the bottom of the brow where my hairline is. Okay, so now that I have them filled in to my liking with the powder, I'm going to go in and apply um, Max Dip Down to the base of my brow just to give me that gradient effect. Now just pushing the product up. So now I'm going to go in with a spoolie and just comb through my brows just to blend everything. 
Now next I'm going to go ahead and clean up underneath my brows with NC15 Studio Finish Concealer uh, from MAC. So just using a flat top concealer brush. I'm going to start at the bottom here and just follow the line. And then I kind of just work that product downward. Now as an eyeshadow base, I'm going to be using MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour eyeshadow base. And I'm just going to apply that with my finger. Okay guys, now for shadows. I am going to be using the new Anastasia Artist Palette, which is this one. This, oops, this has got to be my favorite palette that she has come out with thus far. Um, for me, I just love the bright colors. I love how there's different variations. There's mattes, there's shimmers. Um, I just, I love everything about this palette and it's been my go-to palette lately. So I am going to be using, uh, for the most part, Fresh and Aubergine. Now as my highlight shade, I'm going to go into the Maya Mia palette and I'm going to be applying Vanilla, which is this one right under the brow bone. So with just a regular fluffy brush, I'm just gonna apply a little bit just to set that concealer right under the brow. Now with the 224 brush from MAC, I'm gonna go in with Fresh Eyeshadow, which is this yellow one here, and I'm gonna apply that all over um, the crease. So just starting out, and I'm just gonna be fluffing it over Now for the crease, I'm going to go ahead and apply with a MAC 217 brush. I'm going to be applying Aubergine, with, which is this shade right here. Okay guys, so now that that's all blended out, I'm going to be applying Buttery, which is this shade right here. It is a matte shade, and I'm going to be applying that to the lid right in the inner corners. Okay guys, now for liner, I am going to be using this NYC uh, liquid eyeliner. And I'm just going to be doing a light wing and bringing it in just to cover the lash band of my falsies. Now for lashes, I am going to be applying my Flutter Lashes, and these are the Natalie Lashes. These are by far my favorite. I love the, um, the intensity of the lash, and for me, I have really big eyes, so to get a lash that's really full and voluminous, I feel like it brings out my eyes a little bit more. Okay guys, now that our lashes are applied, I'm going to be going in on the lash line with this Costa Riche Eye Pencil.
Now going in with that original yellow shadow, I'm going to be applying a little bit to my brush and working it into the bottom of the liner. So just going in with a little bit of mascara right on the lash line and then working them through the bottom lashes. Now this lip color is a little bit on the warm side for me, so I'm going to be lightening it up with a little bit of MAC Studio Chromographic Pencil in NW15. Now I'm going to be topping that off with uh, Max Royal Ball Lipstick, and this came out with the in the Cinderella collection. Now to finish off our look, guys, we want to definitely set our makeup. So I am going to be applying a little bit of Max Fix Plus. So just a few sprays. So this is our look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely stepping out of the comfort zone for me um, as far as letting you guys see the skin that I'm dealing with and my rosacea and everything, but I felt that I could more relate to you guys, those of you that are having skin problems or struggles, same as me, um, with sharing how I cover them and hopefully you know, building your guys' confidence as well and letting you guys see that there are, you know, ways to cover it and be comfortable on your own skin. So I hope this video was a help to you guys. Those of you, I do understand that this look is a little bit dramatic, but I did want to focus on some of the brighter shades in the palette because this is my favorite palette thus far. Um, so I wanted you guys to see that some of those brighter shades that you may be, you know, shying away from or be a little bit hesitant to purchase, um, just because they're so bright, you don't see yourself wearing them daily. I just wanted you guys to see that you can create beautiful looks with really bright colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I definitely do apologize for my voice. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm hoping to be hundred percent by the next video. So don't forget to leave me, um, suggestions on new videos that you guys want to see next week. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it was a pleasure making it. And I just feel so much better about myself letting you guys see my skin and letting you guys just kind of just putting the guard down. So um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.